this engine is misfiring so badly. You ask around for advice. Close friends, the internet, maybe a therapist. One thing is repeated again and again by everyone. Communication. When you feel a certain way, you should just tell her, right? I mean, it makes sense. That's what adults do. We get issues out in the open and talk about them until they are resolved. Give and take. Compromise. This is part of any good partnership. You want sex. It's important to you. She obviously doesn't feel the same way. Maybe this is the natural state for a wife and mom to be in, and you just need to remind her that couples are supposed to have sex. Maybe she just legitimately forgets about the importance of physical intimacy. Maybe she doesn't understand just how important this is to you. Maybe if you sit her down, nicely explain how hurt you are by this lack of intimacy, she will suddenly comply and start her sexual engine up again for you. Ultimately, physical intimacy is a choice, right? So, if you're like most men, you eventually cave in to your frustration and you tell her how you feel. She listens. She gets a little emotional as you pour your guts out to her. She seems genuinely surprised that you were so hurt by this. She says you have sex at least once every couple of weeks, right? Isn't that enough? You explain to her that you started keeping track of sex and it's been two months since your last session. Before that, there was a three-month break. She seems puzzled by this. Are you sure it's been that long? Obviously, this sexual drought doesn't have the same negative impact on her. You feel a glimmer of hope, though. You can see that the severity of this situation is starting to sink in a little bit. You're getting somewhere, so you press on. You explain that you are bothered by her apparent lack of desire for you. Nothing you do ever turns her on. You're always turned on by her, but she can't seem to muster up the energy to reciprocate. Is it that you just don't love me anymore? You say. She starts crying and explaining. She's under stress, she says. The house, the kids, work. It's all just too much to bear at times. All of these things prevent her from getting into the headspace necessary for sexual arousal. She never even thinks about sex. It's not you, it's her. Just be patient understanding with me, okay? You hold her. You tell her you're sorry. You'll help more around the house. You'll get the kids three days a week after school instead of two. You'll be there more for her, emotionally. You've not been the best partner. You can do better. She appreciates your help and thanks you for being such a great husband and friend. You kiss. You hug a while. More crying. She gets up to make dinner. You run off to play with the kids. Later that night, you go to bed and you see that she's already asleep under the covers. You give her a gentle kiss and you go to the basement with your laptop and you jerk off to porn. Again. Still, if you're being honest, you do feel a lot better about your situation. Communication is important, after all. It feels good to get that off your chest. You finally feel like you may be moving in the right direction. Another month will go by. No sex. You will decide to have the talk again. Subsequent conversations with your wife won't be so sweet. She'll become more frustrated with you. The emotional facade goes away and it's replaced with anger and annoyance. At times, she seems almost repulsed by your touch. Even the most innocent of back rubs and kisses make her stiffen up. It feels like your roommates, or worse, siblings. So more talking, more emotional vomiting, more anger. The cycle continues. Hammer this into your head. The talk doesn't work. The talk just reaffirms what she already knows deep down. You are not the kind of guy she wants to fuck. What you are doing is looking for her help. You're asking her to fix the problem. You are putting yourself in a subservient role. You're like a child looking up to mom to fix his boo-boo. This is a giant female libido killer. Each talk just drives one thing into her brain. Oh God, I married a guy who just doesn't get it, and he probably never will. When you pour your guts out to your wife, you're trying to appeal to her rational side. Don't you remember how much we love each other? Remember all of our good times? Remember those loving and romantic feelings we have for each other? Intimacy is a choice. I love you, and I choose to want you sexually all the time. I don't understand why you refuse to make the same decision. Instead of appealing to her rational mind, you are setting off an instinctual response that pushes the libido in the wrong direction. Rationality doesn't enter into the world of eroticism and animalistic desire that you want and need so badly. Having the talk with your wife 
is like walking in the middle of a funeral and performing a striptease. If the talk was truly an open and honest conversation, it would go something like this. <laughs> 